Christchurch Mayor Bob Parker there. So let's recap what we know so far. A 6.3 magnitude earthquake hit Christchurch just before one o'clock in the afternoon New Zealand time. The epicentre was about 20 kilometres southeast of the city. At least 65 people have been confirmed dead so far, but there are many more trapped. A backpacker is among those killed in his van. People walking along the street during their lunch hour are also confirmed dead. Two buses were crushed by falling buildings. It's not known how many people were trapped during that incident. Flights across New Zealand have been grounded with airspace across the country shut down. And New Zealand says services to and from Christchurch Airport are cancelled. Seven will have more on this unfolding tragedy throughout the evening. The first terrifying moments of a killer quake. <laughs> At least 65 dead, Christchurch in chaos. You know, I'm sure there's some people under there. We just... And we've got some folk up there that we want to try and get out. Buildings destroyed, many people still missing, and dramatic rescues. And there is someone trapped up in the, in the glass there. As New Zealanders deal with yet another natural disaster. This is 7 News with Peter Mitchell. Good evening. Here's the very latest information we have from Christchurch. The 6.3 magnitude quake hit just before 11am Melbourne time. Police have confirmed at least 65 fatalities. Hundreds of people have been injured. Aftershocks are continuing. And amid those aftershocks, Christchurch is tonight the centre of a massive rescue operation after parts of the city were reduced to ruins by a deadly earthquake. Tragically, the death toll is expected to rise and an unknown number of people are still trapped in the rubble. The quake struck at lunchtime with the epicentre 10 kilometres from the centre of Christchurch. The moment the earthquake struck. The floor's trembling and the... And the, the rocks are falling down in some there, just outside Christchurch. Um. And this was where it had its most devastating effect. Christchurch was disintegrating. Heard the building fell down on top of us. We're not bearing gifts there, it's trashed. City buildings fell apart right in the middle of a working day and a school day. The quake filled the streets with rubble, with dust and with panic. I was just walking along Colombo Street and I was about six or eight paces away from the balcony that fell on top of everybody. Leaving a city dazed and confused, terrified. Oh, it's just, it's just a huge shaking. It's just unbelievable. Just unbelievable. The most frightening thing of my entire life. A shocked New Zealand couldn't believe the destruction. We're just in Colombo Street near the Cathedral Square and you can see cars have been absolutely covered. In no time, survivors became rescuers. Their challenge was everywhere, overwhelming. You guys right? What do you need a hand? What do you need? A hit with the table, you know? the table in the restaurant and uh, yeah and two three people just fallen on me yeah so suddenly an aftershock strikes the city's landmark cathedral causing more panic for those thinking they were safe out in the open this building comes down you got no chance can you all go back there please frightening for those still inside and there is someone trapped up in the in the glass there. They're just sitting out of the window. Hopefully they're OK. And I'm sure there's some people under there. We just... And we've got some folk up there that we want to try and get out. But, of course, emergency are all over the place dealing with gas leaks and God knows what else. It's just huge. It is huge. Just how huge could be seen from the air? The cathedral, with its fallen spire, one of several churches which suffered major damage. A city building virtually halved and on fire. People waited on rooftops for rescue. This four-storey office block squashed down like a pancake. Hard to imagine someone survived, but from the mess, a woman appears. Her name's Christy. Just look at us. You'll be fine. They're going to come and get you down. While she waits, she says she hears others trapped inside. Just stay away from the edge. 
a delicate operation begins to lift her to safety. Luckily, she's escaped serious injury. Christie's returned to her relieved workmates. And then it all sinks in. Emergency services were so stretched, paramedics at one point ran out of ambulances. It shut down communications and forced evacuations. A traffic jam of workers fleeing the city. I don't think we can uh, go past the fact that we may well be witnessing New Zealand's darkest day. A region hit by a 7.1 magnitude earthquake only last September. This quake was shallower and closer to Christchurch. It showed. Chris Ma, 7 News. The quake struck at lunchtime in Christchurch when many office workers were on the street during their lunch break. They were soon confronted with the horror of people trapped under rubble screaming for help, leading to remarkable acts of heroism. In the middle of the day in the centre of Christchurch, a disaster zone. 